Oh, I'll be good. You got enough. Go. Hi, this is Susie. I'm at the AKC National Championship presented by Royal Canin. I'm with National Purebred Dog Day. And this is? I am Laura Reeves, host of Pure Dog Talk, brought to you by Era Media Group. And we have a great opportunity here at the AKC National Championship to meet a lot of dogs that we don't get to see all the time. So we're with the Dogo Argentino, Dogo Dojo. And this is Dogo. Jamie. Dogo. And is it Dojo or Dogo? Dogo. Dogo. No. Okay, and this is Jamie. Jamie, where are you from? I'm actually from Tampa. Okay. Yeah, okay. so it's like home, home turf here. <laughs> yeah. How did you get interested in a very uncommon breed? Well, I've always had bully breeds, and I have, um, I've always aspired to have a purebred dog that I can bring to the shows and do confirmation with. And I found the opportunity to, uh, someone had Dogos, a breeder local in Tampa has Dogos. Okay. So I got to know the breeder, I got to know the parents, and I really just fell in love with the breed. And I've, and I've had my eye on them for a long time. So for me to see them in my area and available. And, and she's was, pretty chill. She's yes. very chill. She's she is, gorgeous. um, she's 10 months old. Oh, oh my gosh, baby. she's a baby. So, so you said you had bully breeds before. Yes. What breed did you have before her? So um, I've had a like, pit bull mix type, mm -hmm. I rescue dogs, uh -huh. and then um, my family also has American Bulldogs too, okay. so I'm in boxers, so we're fully familiar with that type. So I asked to ask you to put us in the frame of how she is alike or different from the breeds that you have. So with her, there we go. So you guys can see, this is not a small dog. <laughs> it's a good size, and this is a 10 month old female. Yes. So they get to be a much larger size than this. Yes. Now, if I could compare her to other breeds I've had in the past, she she's one of the most easygoing puppies I've had. Okay. <laughs> um, also, she has very high prey drive and almost an independent thing. Um, obedience is challenging with her because she always thinks, why am I doing this, right? Well, do I have to? So um, she's a challenging breed, not a first-time breed to own. And okay, that's so, a great question. Yeah. She's not for a first-time dog. No, owner. definitely not. Okay. And they do take a firm hand, strong. Yeah, you. Uh, it's just a big dog, yeah. especially when you get males, and um, they have a high prey drive. Everything outside, she fits. Okay, their so game. high prey drive on anything: kitties, squirrels, oh, yeah, other dogs. Not dogs, not kids. Okay. Okay. I know enough about the breed history to know that it's very interesting. She is the national, the only, in fact, I think she's the only breed native to Argentina, correct? I believe so. And a doctor and his brother developed the breed. Yes. And they, I know that there's a Cordoba fighting dog in the background, but they used That's a what lot of about. different breeds in it. And he wanted a dog that could go after jaguars. So I'm thinking jaguars. this is not a timid breed. Not at all. Um, they, they, a they, hunting dog. Yes, they were bred as big game hunters. But also, they're bred as family dogs, and they're very loyal to the family. Like I mentioned, she's great with kids. Uh, she's actually shy of adult strangers. Uh -huh. But if a kid her size walks up to her, she falls in love and melts in the lap of a kid. Aww. So it, it's amazing. And do you think that's true of uh, all of them? I think socialization plays a big role with that, but it's true to the breed that they are family dogs, yes. Uh -huh. right. yeah. um, I noticed that she, I don't know if the viewers can see it, she is white, of course, but close up, she has ever faint little freckling spots. Yes. Is, will she outgrow that? Is that common to the breed? What am I looking at here? So, the pigmentation on her fur is common for the breed. Now, they're not allowed, the pigmentation cannot come through. To the fur. So it can't be like a Dalmatian Correct. spot. Correct. She cannot have spots come through to the fur. However, um, the standard does allow for eye patches, like okay. pirate patches. Okay. So they're allowed to have a patch on their face no more than 10% of the head, covering no more than 10%. Okay. okay. So that's the only markings they're allowed. Okay. And she's a cropped? Yes. Okay. Do you have, do you get a lot of flack for that, having a, a breed with a cropped ear? Not really. Okay, if anything, I have people, I get one of two reactions when walking her. I get a reaction of, wow, she's stunning. May I pet her? They think she's a beautiful dog. Surely she is. The other comment or reaction is, maybe I should step back a couple. Right. So certainly some people meet her and think, oh, she looks intimidating. She looks 
mean. Like, I've gotten that before. And then they come and meet her, and they're like, wow, she's really gentle and easygoing. She's really just a big baby. Well, what I think is so criminal is that I suspect there are countries where she is subjected to the BSL laws, which are Greek-specific laws that, out, that outright ban certain Greeks. And I think she's on the list in some countries. What countries? And how unfair is that? So, from and what now, I've gathered, now she's my first go go and I've met several other people. And by the way, this is Danica. Um, I've met many people online. I do believe they're banned in the UK and in Australia. Um, as far as I know, I don't. I haven't heard of anything in the US in regards to branding the bead breed. However, it does fall in the same category as BSL regarding housing situation. Right. She is considered an aggressive breed. To that, I have to add, I live in a one bedroom apartment <laughs> with, the, with the Dogo Argentino. She does great in the apartment. And how often do people mistake her for a mix of a holy oh, mix all the time. time? Yeah, people are not familiar with the breed, so I end up every person I'm meeting educating them. Um, and many people, some people I'll get the guessing game. They'll right. say, oh, you know, is she American Bulldog? Is she a pit bull? They, they don't know. So um, I just I end up telling them what she is. And they're like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> right, right. And so the talking about a breed that was designed to hunt jaguars. Yeah. It was designed to guard families in Argentina. Not always the most peaceful place in the world. Right. And so this is a big stronghold. It is. And and you talked about socialization and I'd like you to really speak to that because I don't want people to get the understanding that this is a, a mushy little dog, right? Like oh, they no. need to understand that there's a lot of work that came to make this dog who it is. So yeah, I've for socialization wise, I got her at 12 weeks, which is a little little later, but she goes everywhere with me. She goes into Lowe's, she goes into pet friendly stuff. This is like her fourth show she's done. This is the biggest event, but right. since I've showed her a few times now, she's used to this. And we live with other dogs. Her, her smallest playmate that's sitting in the staging area is a two pound chihuahua. <laughs> So and a chihuahua is the boss, I bet. The chihuahua, yep. Yeah, well, that's, that's chihuahuas for you. Yeah. Um, she was raised in, with her breeder with a two-year-old and a four-year-old child. And so she only knows kids as good things. Right. <laughs> and, but she's been then socialized to young children. She's yep. been socialized to new yep. experiences. This isn't a breed that you can take and just... You can't keep throw them in your... it in the backyard. I right. think it's going to grow no. up to be a, a no. solid citizen. If it doesn't know what this is, if it doesn't know what the outside world is, if you keep it in your backyard for all of its life and then all of a sudden take it to an AKC dog show, it is not going to act like this. Yeah, and, and most dogs would. Tell me yeah. about the, the health of the dog. What health testing do you recommend? Are they in good shape? Are they pretty sound? How long do they live? So as for the Mastiff family, and one of the reasons I really love this breed is that they're, they are very healthy. They're not... The most common thing they're prone to is deafness because of the white. white. So before they go home, they're all tested with the bear testing with their ears. Um, as for other health issues, I am not aware of. Okay. So, so you test for hip dysplasia, you have to test for she, some of that She kind will of stuff. be when she's full grown. Right, yes. Right, but I'm saying in, in a situation where people are looking to purchase one, they would look for one that was tested for. Right. X, Y, and Z. Yes, the parents should be a good good, good read. And yes. she is an FSS or a miscellaneous right now? I showed her miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Yes. Yes. miscellaneous. Yes. yes. Um, and what kind of shape are, is the breed in? I, presumably it's popular in Argentina. It is. However, it's a growing breed across many countries. Her parents were actually imported from Serbia, oh, near nice. Russia. Oh okay. my goodness. So, and when you get the different strains, we do have American bloodlines. There's, she's Serbian bloodline. Um, we have the Argentine bloodline. The best of breed male today was art from art straight from Argentina. Oh my. So, they are a growing breed from different areas. Um, as for popularity, many people don't know them still. Yeah. So. Um, I have hair on me from a different breed, but I don't see a, a lot of hair flying off of her. She is not terrible at breeding. No, shedding. 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 This, it, it was what I was actually noticing. The, the hair coat is interesting. It is coarse texture. Mary, I don't know if you're able to show that to the, to the viewers. Yes, it is. It it's does a have a coarse texture. texture. It's not short. Um, it is It is a different short-coated texture than a pointer or a bull terrier or maybe closer to a bull terrier mm -hmm. certainly not a boxer it's almost um, a and even like on her tail you can right. pick it up 
Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. We don't let people do anything. But her we don't ears are soft. Yeah. She's a very soft, short haired right. breed. Right. <laughs> now, tell me what else these dogs can do. Are, is there anybody doing lure coursing or. I have not obedience, seen obedience. Agility. Yeah, <laughs> I have you. not seen lure coursing. Um, I have seen obedience. It takes a lot with obedience because like I mentioned they tend to be independent right so you have to really figure out what that dog's drive is and each of them are different she loves treats could care less for a ball you know right 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 so um I have seen let's see so they do them with hunting I've seen some of them do search and rescue because they have search a and rescue because they're a hunting background they have a very strong sense mm -hmm. of smell and um she's always got her nose to the ground mm -hmm. um I've she's heard of sense or sight oriented more scent for instance, for instance, I was walking two dogs at night. Mm -hmm. There was a wall about this height. The top of the wall was an opossum. Oh my. My other dog, my pit bull mix, sight oriented. He saw it. He watched it. She was sniffing around wondering where it is, looking on the ground. So, okay. nose okay. down. All right. So definitely Christy Moore a a, has a dogo doing cat in, in uh, Arizona. Okay, so there's somebody doing fast cat with a with a dogo in Arizona. Okay. Um, um, are they used in police work at all? So I have seen a couple. I'm not too familiar with how common they use. More in work. South America. Or However, something. I have seen people doing a lot of IPO work with them. Oh sure. So they are, um, like I said, they're they tend to be smart dogs and they have a lot of drive to. They have a bite, you know, that they're bred for hunting boar. So they have a very strong jaw. And from when I, I, I did a couple IPO classes with her, granted she's very young and still growing, right. but um, the, the trainer said these dogs are known for having full bites on first contact. Right. So they right. are, we are seeing more of them in different sports. Sure. Um, and are there quite a few in the United States? Of dogos? Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure number wise. Okay. Okay. Um, it's, it's growing. Okay. So, and if somebody wanted to learn more about this breed, where would they go? Probably the Dogo Argentina Club of America? Yeah, DACA. Yeah. Dogo okay. Argentina Club of America. Okay. Um, certainly, if they find a, uh, they could Google breeders in their area. Maybe there's a reputable breeder they can meet with and learn more about the breeds. Okay. Um, Do they, is there like a breeder list on your website for the National Club, do you suppose? I think there is. Okay. I'm, I'm not 100%. Okay. <laughs> so, if people are here in Orlando and want to meet this lovely young lady, I Danica. Think. Danica. All I have to do is race car. Danica. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. You'll be here all weekend? Yes. We're here at the awesome. booth. Yep. Awesome. Showing a miscellaneous. She actually showed today. Today. Okay. Yeah, she showed for the puppy sweets, puppy steaks, and um, she showed another miscellaneous. Very nice. Very nice. Very well, nice. I can't thank you enough for your time. Thank you. Thank I you for bringing thank her Thank you so by. much. Yay, Danica. Yes, folks, Danica we are says heading over to hey. the Dutch Shepherd, and check back in a few minutes, and we'll be on. Bye-bye.